Hacker, are you planning on getting ready today at all? I mean, you've got I, your robe on, you've got your bowler in. I'm comfortable, I've got in my air curl. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Now, stop trying to change my way. Put your shirt is underneath the robe. In <laughs> just two minutes' time, it's the programme you've all been waiting for. Yes, it's the highlight of your year and mine. <laughs> it's brand new Hacker Hack time. time! Yes! Oh, thanks, my little brother. I'm actually genuinely excited for this episode. You know what? what? Why don't you tell us all a bit what's coming up in today's show? Tell you about it. I can yeah. do better than that, Carl. I've got a special guest here <gasps> from today's episode. What? No, Kimberly Wyatt. I've always wanted to meet her from taking the next step. We could dance together. No, no Kimberly Captain. Wyatt. She's not going to get up this early, is she, Cocker? No. Well. I'm on about me. I'm the star of Hacker Time. I'm here today, and you should be grateful to have me here at this hour anyway, Cocker. No, it is great to have you here, actually. Hey, I've got an idea. Oh, what is it? Why don't you play a little fun quiz, you know, all about today's Hacker Time? How well, about well, that? No one told me about a quiz. I've not prepared anything. You can't stitch me up, Cocker. You've just said you're the star of the show. You should know everything about Hacker yes, Time. Yes, I do know everything, actually. Yeah, go on, then. Do your yeah, quiz. Yeah, OK, cool. So, basically, do. I'm going to show you three images. Focus. And you have to tell us what happens next. It's easy. A bit of fun. Go on, then, a bit of fun. Yeah, all right, let's, let's have a look at the first one, shall we? Right. Oh, quite a dramatic image there. This is Kimberly Wyatt crying. So, Hacks, tell us why it happened. Very good, very good. But um, the answer is I don't know. I don't know why that happened. I wasn't well, there. What do you mean you don't know? What? Well, I'm not in that bit, am I? If I'm not in it, I don't watch it. Well, well if you're not in it, it's easier to watch it because you're uh, not in the scene. It's easier not to watch it, in a way. What's the next one? Like, that was too difficult. Right, we'll have a look at the next one, shall we? Oh, OK, so we've got a catering van with Wilf. And Mrs. Breadbin, what, what happens next, Axe? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not in it, am I? I wasn't there. You must have some like overview of the show. I have no input in that show. You... All right, let's look at the next one. What's okay. the next one? The next one. Oh, okay. Well, now you can't say anything about this because that is clearly you in the scene. You've got a lovely naval uh, costume on there. So what mm. happened next, Axe? I don't know. I wasn't in it. What are you? That has... That's my standing. He just turns up to you the You don't have a standing. That's you. I can tell by your shiny nose. Well, I don't remember then. That's how you want to be. But never mind all that, Cocker's drumroll, police. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere because finally it's here. It's brand new Hacker Time! <laughs> Woo! Uh, oh, one minute you're on air, one minute. Great news, everyone. <laughs> Hacker Time has been nominated for a Daytime Flemmy Award. <gasps> if we're going to win, this has to be our best show ever. Lorraine? What? How's the script coming along? Well, I haven't written it yet. But the programme starts in 45 seconds. Oh, great! Well, that's twice as long as it usually takes to write this rubbish. <laughs> Wilfred? Hello there! We need to come up with lots of brilliant new ideas. <gasps> I've got it! Oh, what? A brilliant new idea? No! A brilliant new light bulb for this dressing room. <laughs> Wilfred? Finally, we need to make sure our big star is ready. Hacker? Yes, Derek? Is our big star ready? Yes! Yeah. This 24-carat gold star will be perfect for bribing the judges. Daytime, Flemmy! Here we come! Run the titles! Woohoo! You gotta watch this! You gotta watch this! You gotta watch this! My, 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 my program hits you so hard, makes me say, oh my word, thank you for watching me, it's telly, but not what you normally see, it feels good, there's outtakes too, comedy gets some clips, it's true, so sit back, don't move too much, this is the show, but you can't touch. Stop Hacker Time! Thank you. Okay, stand by everyone, we're on air in five. Four, Wilf, three, is the celebrity guest two, here? One. She's coming now. <laughs> oh, oh. Hi, I'm Kimberly Wyatt, dancer, singer, TV judge. I'm here for music program. Oh, certainly, Mr. Wyatt. But first, oh, you look like you could use the lavatory. Is that a fair assessment? No, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> I think you should I'm pop okay. into the toilet, make a no, bit of room I'm, for I'm later. Really, I'm okay. Go on, it's two ply lavatory paper in there. It's really absorbent. Great work. <laughs> Ready, hacker. Good. <laughs> I found the perfect outlet for her talents. A sewage outlet. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from taking the next step, it's Kimberly Wyatt! <laughs> Welcome! 
Welcome to Hacker Time! Hooray! No, I am not doing this. Oh, but Kimberly, in your honour, I've taken the next step. Oh, have you? Yes, look, the next step of the staircase that leads out of here. You're going nowhere, love! Ha, ha, ha! Well, I mean, it does feel quite nice to be on a show that's been nominated for a daytime Flemmy. Good! Time to find out who you actually are. Derek, my liege, la fact fact. <laughs> funny about that? <laughs> Coming up, my little owl. Hey? Hey, what you put that on for, Derek? <laughs> Who's that? It's the wrong button. Oh, come on, press the right button. Pass him again. Oh, this is right. Kimberly Wyatt is an American pop singer, dancer, baker, and wooden spoon holder. She judges taking the next step in a lovely bright pink studio. She'll feel right to tell me then. Kimberly won Celebrity MasterChef by holding the trophy out of everybody's reach. Her favourite colour is wenge and her favourite food are sunglasses. And that's everything you don't need to know about Kimberly Wyatt. Mmm, <laughs> I'm still not entirely sure who you are, but I've committed now. <laughs> Cheeky. But I must admit, since you've been here, you've created quite a stir. Well, I think it's really my only escape route out of here. Stir, stir, it works! Hey, <laughs> lovely stuff. Larry, what other mucks coming up? Well, it's a good job Kimberly Wyatt's our guest, because today's show is all about Kimberly Wyatt! Coming up, we've got a leg in the air, some plot in the fur, and accordion George. <laughs> Don't go away! Way, well, looks like the usual loaded schedule filling tat, don't you think, Kimberly? Yeah. Um, just a reminder that the Daytime Flemmy Awards panel yes. will be scoring you throughout this episode, hacker. Them? I thought they were our new set of gargoyles. Oh, oh, I couldn't yes. leave that down, no, zero. Move on! Very well. Kimberly, you're a well-known dancer, but what's your signature move? I would say my signature move is the standing over split. Do you want to see it? Yeah, I do. Go on, couple. Right. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. What the? Anyone can do that. Watch. <laughs> yeah, look at that! Hey! Oh, wow. How am I even doing this? I'm scared, Kimberly. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared for you. No, I'm only joking, cocker. They're just prop legs. Oh. <laughs> Apart from that one. Hmm? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Anyway, oh, do you remember when I auditioned for taking the next step? No, I don't. I did. I did do it. Uh... Peer at the evidence, cockers. I'm Haggerty Dog, and I'm here to audition. The floor is yours. Oh. Show me what you got. Well, I've actually got this spot at the moment, but I don't think that's relevant. That is Huge. totally fine. Humongous. Humongous. Enormous. How rude! It's only little. I still look OK. I'm not a fan of the stank face thing. I don't get it. Yeah. Bit harsh, John. I'm not a fan of your hair, but I wasn't going to mention it. Anyway, you <laughs> love this. I'm a reek good dancer. Watch. <gasps> la, 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 Hey! Hey! I think the next step might just love you. So, yes. It's a yes from me. Oh, one more yes, and I'm through to Nationals. It's a no for myself today. It's because of this spot in it. It's not fair. It's not fair. <laughs> it wasn't fair. I, apparently, I liked you. Now, Kimbo. How did you start out as a dancer? Well, I started with gymnastics and then went into ballet. Oh, ballet? Yeah. Did you know that Wilf was once in Swan Lake? No. Here you go, little swans. Lots of lovely bread for you. Here, yeah, George! Oh, oh dear. Yeah, he was so shaken up, he couldn't perform with the National Ballet later that week. <laughs> eh? <laughs> now, Kimbo. You famously won Celebrity MasterChef. What was on your winning menu? Well, for a starter, I had seafood soup with mussels. Oh, no. Seafood soup with mussels doesn't really agree with me. No? Oh, I don't really agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He'll be better once he's had his protein shake. <laughs> As an American, did you have trouble with all the British names for food, like tomato and banana and manageable portion? <laughs> uh, here and there, yes. Well, let's test your knowledge then. You call these vegetables eggplant, zucchini and scallions, but what are they called in Britain? 
Well, these are spring onions, zucchini courgette, mm. <gasps> aubergine. No, in Britain, they're all called Stuart. I call all my vegetables Stuart. It makes it easier to remember their names. <laughs> well, 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 it's time to wrap up the interview. Cheers, Kimberly. Having you here really has put a spring in my step. Oh, thank you for having me. Yeah, somehow Stuart the Spring Onions got stuck in my step. <laughs> Do you see? A spring in my step. It's a joke. Oh, oh, oh. Shut up. <laughs> That's the final score. Huh, we're never getting that Daytime Flemmy Award now. Oh, we're not from the Daytime Flemmies. No. We're from the National Society of Middle-Aged Women who held up Zedos for no reason. Then who was the judge? Well, actually, it was me. And the award goes to... <laughs> Stuart here! The most entertaining spring onion lodged in a step I have ever seen. No! Oh, none of this makes any sense! Talking of which, Larry, cut to something else. Now on Hacker Time, the Admiral needs to watch his back in this week's adventure of Admiral Lawnmower! A great admiral needs only one thing. Respect with a capital R. Joe! Uh. Oh, I needn't worry, because my men often gather to talk about how brilliant and lovely I am. <laughs> men? We're gathered to talk about how brilliant and lovely the admiral is. And the man's a hideous disgrace of nature. Tell me about it. On Friday, he punished me with... The cat of nine tails! <gasps> Stroke it! But I'm allergic to cats! In that case, I'll have to use this on you! <gasps> That's nothing! On Saturday, he made us it an iceberg! <laughs> an iceberg lettuce, that is! Mash it up, good! I can't stand a chunky salad! <laughs> You think that's bad? Huh? On Sunday, he came to me with a massive diva demand. Huh? Wilf, dress up as Beyonce. Oh, very well. Oh. If you liked it, then you should have put a ring on it. If you liked it, then you should have put a ring on it. If you liked it, then you should have put a ring on it. That's terrible! Oh, oh no! He never put a ring on it. Oh. One day, Wilfred. One day. This can't go on. We've got to talk to the Admiral in the only language he understands. Stiamo metendo in scena un ammutinamento. That's lovely, but I don't speak Italian. In that case, we're staging a mutiny. Yay! <laughs> From now on, we are the masters and you are the servants. Mamma mia! As the crew took over the ship, I was certain it wouldn't go to their heads. <laughs> <laughs> what a wonderful party to celebrate the fact that this has definitely gone to our heads. <laughs> Indeed! Now, where's that boy with my chunky salad? <sighs> I mirror your worship for majesty. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like me to do next? Uh, Clean the poop deck! <laughs> Actually, this isn't so bad. I wonder why they call it the poop deck. Anything else? Yes. Clean all of our filthy underpants. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, this isn't so bad. <laughs> Please tell me there isn't anything else. I'm afraid there is. Go to the mess deck and clean the muck off everyone's shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, this isn't so bad. There's only Whiffy Bob, Salty Margaret, Tall Alan, and... Who 
who are you? Eric the Millipede. I want all 1,000 shoes cleaning. I can't take any more of this. Listen here, you lot. I'm staging my own mutiny. What did he say? I don't know. I don't speak Italian. From now on, I'm your master, and you are my servant, just like before. Well, that's resolved everything very neatly. <laughs> I'm afraid it hasn't. Luke, we're about to hit an iceberg. <gasps> Don't be ridiculous. That's clearly a romaine lettuce. Well, that was ridiculous. However, I do recall the time I took over a ship. Oh, really, Father? Oh, yes. It had been docked for many a year and I grew furiously upon its hull. Hmm? Isn't that a place in Yorkshire? You're watching Hacker Time, sponsored by I Can't Believe It's Not Not Glam! Uh, everyone's favourite Not Glam substitute. One day, Herman. You're going to be the star of this show, matey. Herman, Herman, I'm glad I've caught you. I'm finally going to give you the chance to shine. <gasps> this antique horse brass. <laughs> but, Herman, mm -hmm. I do want everyone to see your face. <gasps> In it. So make sure you buff it up nicely. <sighs> Actually, Herman, I've decided to give you the star dressing room. <gasps> I don't know what Hacker's been up to in there, but it smells of gibbon and ingratitude. Please, Mr. Derrick, is there any chance I can take the next step to get on the TV? Of course! That's exactly what I had in mind. I want you to take the next step on this ladder and get on that TV. The ceiling needs dusting. Goodbye! Hoo-hoo! <laughs> One day, Herman, everyone's going to know your name. Thank you, Sharon! Oh, close enough. Coming back to studio in three, two, one, and cue! Kimberly Wyatt, you appear on Taking the Next Step, but what makes the perfect next step character? Well, I would say passion for dance is a big one. Yeah. Loads of personality is always a plus. Well, I think I've got exactly what it takes to be on that show, and I shall demonstrate my powers via the gift Oh song <laughs> I want to practice my dance moves In a studio made of exposed brick Wear a synthetic vest Kick my legs up like West On a white backdrop I'll spin till I'm sick The only problem is I can't dance to save my life But I have dramatic tension causing misery and strife I've got my leg warmers and glossy hair I have talked to several cameras sitting in a canvas chair Cause trivial dramas by being very mean Exhibiting the angst of a self-absorbed teen I'll tell the whole viewers things they've only just seen And that's the basic formula of the next step <laughs> Yeah, what do you think of that, Cocker? Well, you put a lot of heart and soul into it, didn't you? I sure did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's lunch. Are you hungry, Kimberly? Starving. That's a shame, because you're not getting any. See ya. La 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 la. Food stuff. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Hello? Oh, at least I've got Stuart. Wilfred? Oh, yes? I've made some changes. We're saving time by abbreviating everything on the menu. From now on, orange juice will be OJ. Pie and mash will be P-A-M. Etc, etc, etc. Well, I'm sure this won't cause any humorous misunderstanding. Oh, here comes a customer. Ooh. I'll have the BLT, please. Here you go. But that's got no bacon in it. And all the B stands for bread. But there's no lettuce or tomato either. 
Yes, BLT stands for Bread Lacking Things. If I only wanted bread, I'd have just asked for B. But that's bacon. Well, in that case, I'll have a P. Certainly, the facilities are round the back. No, P, a pasty. You can't go in that, you disgusting brute. Eh? I said you can't go in that, you disgusting brute. No, A, I want an apple. Why? Because I'm hungry. No, why? The letter Y. Do you want a yoghurt to go with it? Forget all that. You are a cutie. Oh, well, thank you very much. No, you are a QT. I will have the Ukrainian reared albino quail terrine. Good choice, yeah. It's been handmade by my hideous wife here. Actually, Ooh. scrap everything. I'll just have a tea with milk and sugar. Fair enough. One trout coming up. Here's your milk and your sugar. What do you think you're doing? I wanted semi-skimmed. Oh, I-F-U-T-V. What? I'll fire up the vein. Oh, well. And now, we present a new talent show format. It's Faking the Next Step. Right, Hacker, good luck. Get in there and do something that people are going to remember for a long time. Off you go. Very well. <laughs> ah. All done? Brilliant. Off you go and audition. Will do. Good luck. Can I have your name? No, get your own. What's brought you here today? The number 76 bus. <laughs> I'm looking for someone with a unique, distinct style. Well, I've got one, look. Here it is. I nicked it from a country walk I went on. Hey, good gag, innit? What about inspiration? Who do you look up to the most? Well, I'm always looking up to big, long Susan here. It's a shame I don't respect her, though, isn't it? <laughs> I'm sorry. I really don't think you have what it takes to get to the top. I do. I've got this climbing helmet and these crampons look. Hey, I'll be up by Susan's ears within five days. What about ambition? Where do you see yourself in five years' time? In this mirror, in five years' time. This is serious. Do you really think you have global appeal? Yes. <laughs> I'm nearly at the outer core, look. I'm peeling a globe. Hacker, I need someone with technical ability. So let's see you in action. Off you go. All right. No, come back! Mm -hmm. I meant start performing. All right. <laughs> Off you go. All right. Come back! Mm. Off you go. Oh. Come back! Mm. Off you go. Oh. Come back! That does it. There is nothing you can do to win this contest. Oh, really? <laughs> you haven't heard my tragic backstory yet, have you? <laughs> you see, before I came here, I mislaid me pen. Oh, it wasn't just any pen. It was a spring-activated multicolour ballpoint. <laughs> I've done so much with that little fella. Shopping lists, crossword puzzles, anonymous notes to Herman. Oh, I knew it. And now it's gone. So put me through, but don't do it for me. Do it for my beloved writing implement and all his inky brothers. <laughs> it worked! My story's really touched your auntie. Oh, I wasn't crying at that. I got bored doing your story and started chopping this onion for my casserole. <laughs> what have you done to Stuart? However, I do think you're ready to take the next step. Hurrah! Ba -ba -loa! The next step into that off-screen piranha tank. Well, I can't see any problem with that. See ya! la 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 but I left it on a tram in the late 1960s. <laughs> if you're a fan of high-quality singing, look away now and close those ears. <laughs> it's time for Lost and Found. And Lost Again. Lost Again. Uh, these celebrities have such great lives. Uh, how do you mean? Well, look. They get to hang around with other celebrities and take photos of themselves. Well, you can take photos too. You've got a, uh, a camera phone. Oh, it's not the same, is it? 
I've just got you and the other non-famous schmoes in this place. <laughs> but one day, one day... I want the world to know me. Fame is what I seek. But most of all, I want to be BFFs with VIPs. Do the chatter with Lady Gaga, pull a sleigh with Beyonce, stroke a lamb with Will I Am, eat steak with Justin Timberlake, peel a cherry with Mary Berry, then she and Katy Perry can bake me a cake. Drive to Packer with David Beckham, ride in the lift with Taylor Swift, poke at Meebers with Justin Bieber, then teach him about continental drift. I've heard he's really into geography, and it rhymes. And also, I want to clean my toe with Christiano. Ronaldo BFF Best friends forever With VIP Very important people That is all I really, really, really see Seek and you shall find Look, it's all well and good wanting to know famous people, Leia, but don't you just want to sing? No way! You'd never catch me singing. La, 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 I love to sing. <laughs> and now we come to the climax of the show, the quiz that we like to call... Beam My Guest. Beam My Guest. Beam My Guest. Beam! Guest beam my yes, Kimberly Reginald Wyatt. How much do you want to go home? I would really like to go home. Well, now's your chance, cocker. You are standing in my teleporter, which I got from a disreputable retail park. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. Get enough answers right, and you'll be beamed back home. Fail miserably, however, and you'll go somewhere horrendous. How does that sound? Oh, it sounds fantastic. Yeah. Well, the time will end when you hear this sound. Where's my protein shake? Are you ready? I'm ready! In that case, start the clock. Name three characters from the next step. Riley, Eldon and Emily. No! Three characters from the next step are T, N and X. Oh, it's now time for a music round. Here's my old chum and favourite custard-eating champion, Accordion George! Bring him in! It's Accordion George. It's a Cardian George. He likes custard. It's a Cardian George. Ag, 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 ag. George will play a well known tune on his ack. And you've got to guess what it is. Take it away, ag, ag. What do you think it was, Kimbo? Janet Jackson. Janet Jackson? <laughs> well, I presume it isn't correct, but let's find out if you're right or not. I said you're back. She said, shut up and dance with me. It was Shut Up and Dance by Walk the Moon. Aki G, you should have rehearsed that at lunchtime instead of eating all that custard. I told you about it, didn't I? It went all over your uh, bag. Take him away. Off you pop. And mind your shin, will you, on the way round? Oh, he caught his elbow, never mind. It's the picture round now. We've disguised one of your Taking the Next Step colleagues. But who is it? John Partridge. No, it's Barbara Chickenhead who works in the production office. Obs. Where's my protein shake? Oh, time's up. How did she do, cocker? Mm. That actually stands for ooh, which means you're going home, Kimberly. What do you think about that, cockle? Yes. It's now time to beam my guest. Oh, Herman, make sure you don't accidentally send her to another dimension. Don't worry, Mr. Acker. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't want to go to another dimension. Don't send me. No, I just want to go home. Oh, I'm sure she's fine. That's almost it for today. I'm off to pick the lint out of my tumble dryer filter. But first, I shall sing my lovely end song. Join in, cockers! That is it for now, the end of the show. I need the laugh, so I'm going to go. I'll see you next time on this show of mine. Put it in your diary, it's called Hacker Time. It's been amazing, there's been joy, fun and laughter. This 
Podcast could be the year we win our first BAFTA. Join again next time, because we've got much more. There'll be tons of other funny stuff. It will be top draw. Kimberly Wyatt came along. She's a dancer extraordinaire. I told her my tragic backstory and I got a spring gun in lodge betwixt a set of portable stairs. That is it for now, the end of the show. I need the lab lab, so I'm going to go. I'll see you next time on this show of mine. Put it in your diary, it's called Hacker Time. Put it in your diary, it's called Hacker Time. That is the end of today's Hacker Time. Stuart, come back here, Stuart! The CBBC Summer Fun Fest brings you loads of brand new series. There's nothing like having a good laugh, is there? It's the best thing ever, even when it's so awkward. Look, more mums and dads are tying the knot. You're going to do it? Of course I am. Who's going to be top dog? It's all new Armageddon. And make sure you tune in for my brand new show, Hackers Olympic Rundown. The Fun Fest continues all summer long on CBBC.